Good morning, everyone. It is Monday again, so that means the video of the week is here. So, you guys have to prepare yourself. This is going to be the one and only greatest video you will see today. But before we start, like, comment, and subscribe to win the greatest prize I'm ever giving away. And it is the happiness that you will get when your dad is finally proud of you. Yes, no lie at all. I will pers personally give you that happiness. Just like, comment, and subscribe. And you will finally have your dad's approval of yourself. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoy. We stalled our journey in Ironworks. The map that sometimes gives you the blessing you need, or sometimes doesn't. We will see, won't we? Somebody has now messed up a generator and has told me where they are. I come slithering through pallets and everything to find my victims of the day. I have found them finally and I am craving their blood. I hit them once and am looking for that second hit to finally down them. But look at them go being toxic, waiting for me just to hit a pallet. The only thing is, they don't know how toxic I am, but they will soon find out. Another victim waits for me when they should be running, but they will find out why. Another one comes and joins. It is a party for killing here, and I am ready to play with all of them. He thinks he's so good, playing by the pallets. The only thing is, he doesn't know I'm playing him. Oh boy. Over and over again, he's dropping pallets, and over and over again, he's losing more and more chances to live. Everybody thinks this is a game, but trust me, I am getting sick and tired of this. Bloodless has been activated, and I am waiting for the blood. I take him down, and I'm waiting for the lovely chick to come over and say hi. There she is, trying to flashlight save. The only thing is, I'm coming for her more than him. Yeah. She doesn't want to die so bad that she sends me over to a player that's not even playing. She was going to use her as bait while she just sits there and watches. The only thing is, I can't let anyone live. And they will soon find out why. I take this one down and I go in for all the hooks. Let's see what happens.
she gets off and she sees freedom in her eyes. The only thing is, freedom is just a trick for her. She will soon find out why. She gets down and this time I am sick and tired of playing. So I go to the closest hook I can see and I'm gonna hang off Will. At this point, my toxic traits come out in four, and instead of trying to go for him, I go for her. I'm sick and tired of these toxic survivors thinking they can just get away. Now, I will have to be the toxic killer and show them what is up. What? Okay. I am displeased by this attack, and that fills me with more hatred for this survival. I do not care if I win this game, not anymore. All I care is hitting and killing at least some of them. At least the toxic ones, the ones I think playing in my face is the right way to play. So I get more sweaty. I turn on full god mode and miss every hit. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I turn to my trusty proxy camp with Wraith, where they can't see me unless I want them to. I wait for this lonely survivors like this one to come and say hi. And right when I know she will, she does. I need one more token to finally achieve sweaty godhood with the vow hope. One more token until I finally achieve pureness and this guy will finally die. But the fun has just begun and I finally, finally get revenge for all those pallets in my face. Dumb bitch.
he was crawling away, asking for mercy, pleading to let me let him live. The only thing is, mercy is not something I know, and I go full hook on all of these people for the toxic playthrough they made me do. Are you fucking serious? She gets off once again. The only thing is, she made a mistake and tried to go for a pallet. So I get my sweet revenge. Finally. Two times, and I get up both times. Try to be better. It has happened. Pure Godhood has started. I have finally got three tokens and I am ready to kill all. Ready for madness. There was nothing that can stop me now. And they are skilled. They have no idea what is coming. And it is coming fast. My sweet, sweet victory over these people has just started to come. They have no idea what is coming. They have no idea of the pure godliness is coming to them. They must be pleased to just be in my presence of this game. For their toxic traits has filled me with hatred. Hatred that I will personally give out in full. Soon they will see. Soon. I had to face Campbell. There was no other choice. I could not let her get off the hook. Not again. So I finally made sure she died. And in reality, it turned out to be a good thing. Look at these lovely people just hitting once and getting pure godlyhood with them. Greatness, if there was ever such a thing. Thank you, please. <laughs> now, I could be a nice guy and just hook him and get this suffering over. But you know what's more fun? To not. 
So that's exactly what I do. I play with them and let them die because of what they have done to me. They finally all die, and I finally give her the mercy that she have never gave me. Good times.